try to sneak this in before the sun goes down. Today is Saturday, May the 8th, 2021. My name is Alex, your host. This is another episode of the Corporate Cowboys podcast, powered by Incorporating Associates. Today's uh, today's topic, today's musings. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, the next step in human evolution and how it's already been a long time coming. Some are uh, evolving and moving up, some are ascending, and some are are just not. And uh, really those who are in the middle, who are sitting on the fence, are getting caught up in the crossfire, i.e. the middle class. So they're neither going up nor going down. They don't know where the fuck to go. Those who are on the bottom rung, I mean, they're they're hungry. They know what to do. They, They know they know what it takes to come up when the hunger becomes so severe, when the hunger becomes so pronounced that it becomes desperation. You know, you're willing to commit some sins, you're willing to commit some crimes. That's just what desperation does to somebody, but it's still a fuck around and find out on the lowest rung. And every rung after that one, <laughs> because it's entry level forever, necessarily on every level just as easy as you thought you could slip in that's how easy it is for you to be taken out let's put it that way the next step in human evolution is uh (laughs) don't say uh that doesn't make you sound smart the next step in human evolution is literally incorporation quite literally Look at the way, <clears throat> look at the way courts have been treating man, the individual, humans, men and women, humans. Look at the way courts have been treating individuals. Individuals inherently have less political sway than corporations, though they are supposed to be, of, they're supposed to be provided. They're supposed to be provided the utmost deference because that's. What the constitution is premised on you know securing the individual rights and limiting (laughs) limiting government overreach but it's not the government if it's corporate right and corporate has a lot of fucking sway over what happens in political systems in branches of government corporate has a lot of has a lot of sway has a lot of influence i'm sure you're aware of that i'm sure you know that um, how lobbying how lobbying is legalized bribery and i'm not here to convince you that it's bad i'm here to convince you that <clears throat> you ought to embrace it every conversation that i get into with someone saying capitalism is bad capitalism is horrible look what capitalism has brought on people look how look how corporations take advantage of the the government of the political system with their money and and their influence and i tell them that's that's <clears throat> that's not capitalism that's not capitalism in its purest form that's obviously corporatism that's <laughs> That's war. That's individuals that who've been allowed to get away with tax, um, quote unquote, avoidance. It's evasion, but tax avoidance because they have some slick talking lawyers. They're able to extract money from the from a purely capitalist system and able to uh, shore up their own defenses in a form of self-preservation, if that makes sense. Essentially, you give somebody a fucking inch and then ask for it back, they'll give you an eighth of it only. And they'll claim that's all they got. I I spent the rest. (laughs) They'll lie and say, I invested it because this is humans we're talking about. This ultimately is humans we are talking about. So what are humans left to do? What is the next step in human evolution? Ask me as a corporate cowboy. It's incorporating. There's no other option. 
There is no other option. You have to incorporate. You have to put yourself on the same level, even if you don't have... <clears throat> this is going to be difficult. This is going to be a fucking tough pill to swallow for some. How? Why must I become something that I adamantly do not agree with? It's because you've been conditioned to believe corporate is inherently bad. But these corporations have been alive for hundreds of years. They are literally... Stop saying literally, fool. They are the ones that have provided in the past when it was, I'm going to say, a more purer form of capitalism. When <laughs> motherfuckers weren't scared to put their own supervisors in check. When retirement plans were worth gold. I mean, nowadays, you don't even get the gold watch. You know, they just tell you to fuck off and not to be a burden with the workers' comp and the pension. <laughs> it's like they, they give you threats on the way out. They give you warnings and threats that if you become a problem, then the company's going to come after you. <laughs> don't, don't worry about suing the company. The company will be coming for you. When back then, the company went out of their fucking way to create events, to even set up gated communities, literally gated communities, corporations, they wouldn't throw around and flaunt the wealth. They would actually invest it. This, this town that Google, this Google town that's popping up, this Facebook town that's popping up in Silicon Valley, that's nothing new. That's nothing new. They're just able to reach a little a little deeper into their pocket, deep enough into their pocket to make it look like they're doing something. But ultimately, it is serving themselves. I mean, it is self-serving because there's data to extract from the individuals who will be living in that town, assuming they all use Google products, have Google phones, have Chrome TVs, uh, have... <laughs> have camera like have to sign off and authorize and, and waive liability for any cameras and microphones that are set up in their cute little google town <laughs> it's fucking cute it's fucking cute and it's smart that's what it is you see google is smart for doing that bet you a dollar it's subsidized too so they they went out of their way to invest some of theirs and to you know re and to don't say you know maybe they don't know and to persuade local government and providing them funds providing them assistance in the form of funds in the form of uh, land resources human resources in order to make this a possibility but it's nothing new I believe IBM, Microsoft, um, IBM, 3M, Johnson and Johnson, all the all the old blue chip, blue blood, black money organizations, all those old corporations, they all have small, isolated, gated community towns, but they're just not publicized, and they're smart for not doing so but they all exist and they're all out there. It's what happens when you climb higher and higher up the ladder and you become more and more paranoid that you got to distance yourself further and further where, where in the beginning, oh, in the beginning, it was, it, was all, it was all altruistic. You want the best for your organization. And then towards the end, when you realize, when you realize your paychecks and your bonuses don't justify the art... <laughs> aren't justified by the shitty amount of work by the mediocre amount of by the mediocre innovation that's coming out of your company that's coming out of your organization you got to start cutting fools off <laughs> you have to start cutting motherfuckers off and in the end you don't see it but you cut yourself off and you isolate yourself in these gated communities so you you have to then oh then yeah fucking you gotta invest oh investing doesn't feel so bad does it when it's to protect your own fucking assets right right but nah corporate cowboys aren't immune to that 
corporate cowboys don't give a fuck about that. They're already in there. Necessarily, uh, they're, they're the ones who <laughs> deliver your Amazon packages. They're the ones who will go out of their way and, and take that part-time job to understand what happens behind the scenes. They're the ones who told you that trans fats ain't nothing good. Who do you think was the first one to... Who do you think was the likely first one to realize that um, fast food doesn't degrade, doesn't decompose, doesn't deteriorate over time? Like, this shit is something new. I'm just talking generalities, vagaries. I'm talking generalities and vagaries. Those individuals who have creatively identified the problem and maybe not have been in a position to creatively solve it, they might not be corporate cowboys. They're just individuals with a question in mind, with a skeptical mind, asking, you know, why why does my manager get paid more when they do less work? <laughs> and, and because of that, they're a piece of shit to management. Management could care less about them. So management has got to shut them up somehow. So what does management do? They ostracize them. They call them, I don't know, communists. They, they, they call them... Uh, wages or lifers or what have you but yeah a lot of those individuals are also in a position where they uh where they can't they themselves can't invest maybe they got personal issues maybe they got personal problems with their own life they haven't actualized themselves so while they might recognize and identify the problem they can't do anything about it because fucking i don't know i i don't want to write off whatever conditions they got mental or physical but they could be actual they could be social they could be personal they could be professional i think the most common excuse that i hear is um not wanting to rock the boat because they depend on the job and I think if it gets to that point where your your job has you tied up uh, morally and ideologically, I think it's time for you to inform what your job consists of. I think it's time for you to shine a light on what your job particularly entails and what management is doing to make your job better, to make your job worthwhile. Where if... Where, hold on, because it, this is going to be a little harder to phrase because management, and I've been in this position before, they love using the threat. They love using the threat of saying, if you don't do this work, I got a line of motherfuckers out the door and around a corner who want to take your spot. And it's not true. I mean, it's a fucking bluff. It's fucking bullshit. If you've, if you've ever been on the management side of things, having to uh, interview hire orient and train new employees is a pain in the fucking ass uh, that's why a lot of that shit has already been automated uh, with artificial intelligence with blanket hirings and then they're willing to take on somebody they have already preset systems of just taking on fucking anybody running them through the orientation like the two-week orientation and then writing them off as a tax write-off, it as an as an, an attempt to hire on a new employee, and they can write it off because they tried to create a job. They they quote unquote tried to create a job. They tried to uh, lower the unemployment, and they can be reasoned away to the government. Just another form of tax avoidance. Am I right? <laughs> so. So what's a corporate cowboy supposed to do? What's a corporate cowboy supposed to do, you're thinking? Well, you got to incorporate. You got to incorporate. I myself am uh, moving to incorporate uh, with a couple of other associates. And when the timing is right, when the timing is right, until then, it's a uh, unincorporated association but, you know, we still move in a professional manner. Everything is done in a very diplomatic fashion between ourselves. Everybody gets a chance to speak, but only uh, 
productive, only innovative ideas. There are no good ideas, there are no bad ideas. I mean, obviously there are good ideas, but if we start labeling ideas before they're put on the table, then motherfuckers tend not to participate, tend to get involved less and less, tend to shut the fuck up more and more, and nothing gets done, nothing gets solved. And uh, then when things start going sideways, there's always that one motherfucker who never spoke up and says, Oh, you see, I knew it would happen. This Get the, shut the fuck up. You never said anything beforehand. You never did anything beforehand. It, you, you didn't even warn anybody. I mean, your word is just as valid as ours. You know, you're part of the fucking round table. You're, you're, <laughs> you're one of, you're one of the few on the end. You're in the fold. You're already an incorporating associate. If you're perceived to be a corporate cowboy, play the fucking part. Play your role. If not, you're just going to get ran the fuck over like everybody else. Corporations. Just motherfuckers on paper. Corporations can be dissolved. Just like just like people can. <laughs> just like folks down south do. Dissolutions.